Well, it's been almost exactly one year since we packed up our leaf blower. We found very used on the side of the road for a pretty good deal. Let's see after we had it packed up for the winter if it still runs. Stick around. <laughs> If you happen to see the other video, this is exactly how we left it from almost exactly one year ago. We ran some oil in the cylinder, turned it over slow like, stable in the ethanol free fuel, and then just wrapped everything up with a uh, spritz of WD-40 anywhere where we saw bare metal. Let's unwrap her, see if she fires up. If it does, we'll uh, kind of show you how, it, how she works. <laughs> Quick snippet of the leafage we'll be working with here. You got these two big maples here. Most everything's come down that's going to come down for the year. We got a pretty good oak up front. It's hard to see in the camera, but there's a decent amount. And it's only about 11 in the morning and very late October, so it's fairly damp yet. All right, we got our unwrapped here. We got some severe flat tireage, but she survived the winter. That one's not too bad. We will go get the air tank to pump those up and drag her off the skid here. We should have it sitting on an old pallet, tongue sitting on a log to keep it up off the ground. I don't think there's any more rust than what we started with. Let's go ahead and jog her memory on where we left off on the motor here. See what kind of fuel we got. Got something in there. See how Earl's doing. Mm-hmm. Morning, Earl. Yep, it's fine. You know, before we pump up those tires, let's just see how, how the motor's doing. Let's see. Go halfway on the throttle here. Fuel on. Choke. Start. Let's see what we got. A little more throttle. Alrighty. She hadn't been running a whole year, so don't expect one pole to come to life. We'll see what happens. Maybe I ran the gas out of it. I don't remember. Well, that might help. Let's go get some petrol. It ain't got no gas in it. You know, sometimes you just don't remember exactly where you left things off at. Sounds like that tank's empty. I thought I had some stable and some gas, but maybe I ran it dry. Let's try that again. I 
can smell the oil that I had in the cylinder from last year. That's a lot of that smoke. Which will clear out in a minute. You can see it's already starting to start clearing. Some WD-40 burning off. I sprayed on things. You can see the smoke isn't coming out of the tailpipe anymore. Just surface moisture and oil I had. We probably spilled some on the top of the lock. I don't remember. How about that though? Once there's fuel in it, we did get one full. Alrighty, well, we're gonna go get the air tank and pump that tire up, hook it up to the tractor and get to it. job I can hear my neighbor still using his blower that's nice so here's our leaf pile from this year a few more loads to do but there's a pitchfork a little sense of scale there there's a trailer so it's hard to tell but it's a halfway decent pile of leaves there. If I come back here, it's about half the height of the trailer. It takes a little while to dump this each time. Definitely need a little. Let's see if I can get this sitting somewhere where you can see it. Oh, that's why I was blowing a little extra wind. It's a little extra full. First time I use this, it is impressive how densely packed these chopped up leaves get. Even with dry leaves, this trailer gets weighted down. You can feel it behind your mower. There is a lot that this will hold. Anywho, see if I can pop this back here. You can kind of see how I scoop this out of here yeah. it's dense yeah. First couple times I tried this, this trailer's got a, it is a dump trailer, but 
any time where I tried to dump it up next to a pile or get it back in the woods. The bottom of the trailer was too close to the ground. You can see the leaves are already, you know, all the way up to the trailer bed anyway. And no matter what, I had to scoop it. So you gotta get up in there and get all that out. Yep, there's still more. Yeah. Yeah. It beats raking, but it's still a wee bit of work. There you have it. Like I said, it's hard to really put it to scale how much has been pulled back here, but you can definitely feel it on your mower. Does a pretty nice job. When you get to tooling around on the machine figuring out you know how much you can chew on at once before you plug up these hoses you know because when you plug up the hose you gotta stop you know don't hook your you know don't 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 dig in there or in here when it gets plugged just shut her down you know you need you need these here and this one so when you're figuring out how much she'll chew on you know it's it's going to be able to take as much as what your mower is going to be able to chop up. What I found is if you can still see grass, you can usually go with a slow mow and then she'll still chew it up as long as it's fairly dry. You start getting into deeper stuff, then you just start taking, you know, half half a deck, maybe even a, you know, half a blade width. And I've had better luck if I'm going to choose a side this side would chew on it better than if I let this side chew on it all by itself. I think what was happening is that full leaves would get sucked right up in because the suction is advanced here. And when I started over here, it had a chance to chop it up and then it would kind of whoosh on up into the, into the tube there. So there were times where you know, had about four or five inch thick up over the deck, but as long as I was taking a skinny, it, it takes a while, but you know, you're, you're riding in luxury here, so it's not like you're with a rake all day long. You get to tool around on your mower. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this time on Townline Garage. Just wanted to kind of show this thing in action because we missed that last year and show that our, our ditch deal is still ticking along. I think, you know, a couple hundred bucks compared to the 1500 or so that these things run. Uh, happy to tinker with it if needed, but it's been working pretty well for us so appreciate you watching if you would hit that like and subscribe button appreciate that much till next time keep between the ditches adios